I want to get some more insight this morning from our guest host, uh, famed analyst, it says, uh, famed analyst Meredith Whitney, the founder and CEO. I wrote of, that. Uh, Meredith Whitney Advisory Group. I'm sure you did. We, um, we touched base briefly on home prices earlier in, in the last half hour. You think they have another 25% yes. on the downside? Yes. It's just a question of time. So the can's been punted down the road. If you talk even to regulators and say, what do you think home price, uh, home ownership returns to? What level? It's at 67% today. They all say 65%. That means obviously less demand, you know, equal supply, and house prices go down further. So do you keep people in their homes that they, you know, who otherwise wouldn't be able to afford it longer? Some people say the the bulls will say there's a burnout. So the guys who couldn't afford their homes are burning out of the system. But unemployment, no bank underwrote a loan with 10% unemployment on the horizon. Because right. the majority, over $7 trillion of loans were underwritten with under 6% unemployment assumptions. So I, I think that it, there's no doubt that home prices go down dramatically from here, um, or meaningfully from here, it's just a question of when. Which would be peak to trough 50% or so, right? Yeah. Would it be, would it be uh, violent enough to where home prices spur more uh, defaults, foreclosures, for sales, and, and lower prices in return? Is the, does the vicious cycle come back? The, the, it's just a supply jam. So I don't know about the vicious cycle necessarily. The, you've got very strong variables that make the odds of this happening you know, unavoidable, which are um, you have obviously to pe pe a natural rate of home homeownership, which is about 65, 64 um, percent. You have rising unemployment, people having difficult re uh, difficulty keeping up with their payments, um, exotic resets uh, 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 coming right. forth. Yep. Um, and then you have issues of chronically underfunded state and local governments. So 44 states have to balance their budget. And most states are underwater. And the states that are most underwater are Florida, Arizona, Nevada, and California. Now, Florida is still got a massive leg to go down. So when you see unemployment and f furloughs and um, the government kick, you know, pull back from spending, then you'll see another wave. So I don't know if it's necessarily the vicious cycle caused by, um, by selling, which triggers other areas. It's just that people haven't hit the bid. You know, this is, again, a common theme for so many asset classes. They haven't hit the bid. No. And at a certain point, you'll hit the bid, and you'll see a supply jam. Optimists who are grasping for straws, obviously, say mortgage apps are pretty good, especially those that are, aren't refis, people trying to buy a new home. Is that because they're trying to get in before the tax credit expires, or what? Or you get $8,000 to, to, towards a new mortgage yeah. if you're a new, a new homeowner. Um, you know, rates are you know are still relatively low, and so the five percent inflection point, you know, rates have dipped below five percent, are now above five percent. Um, you know, you're going to have you know, and you're also working from very low numbers. But remember that you know it's difficult to qualify for a mortgage, and the banks that are originating are originating and selling, so they're not keeping a lot of the mortgages on their own own books. And look at the home sales that have transpired. So bulls could also say, well. There have been a lot of home sales that have transpired. Those have been the heavily discounted loans, not the high-end loans. Certainly come down. All right, Carl, sitting with us for the next hour is one of the most respected and influential women on Wall Street, Meredith Whitney, who is the founder and CEO of Meredith Whitney Advisory Group, is joining us. And Meredith, it's great to have you back again. Thanks. Last